Hey guys, so today is going to be a tag video. I was tagged by my lovely friend Stephanie or Steph MKO Beauty here on YouTube. I will have her channel link down below. I love her. I've mentioned her before. We've actually become really good friends in real life, which is awesome. I always enjoy meeting new people. She actually tagged me to do the Lip Product Addict tag and I'm so excited because if you guys know anything about me, you know I am an absolute lip junkie. So I'm excited to go ahead and do this. This for you guys so I have the questions here on my phone and I've already picked out my lip colors and I'm so excited okay so number one is your favorite lip balm slash treatment I actually have two and I probably cheated because I'm sure you're supposed to only pick one for each of these categories but what if so for a lip balm I chose the uh, Christian Dior creme de rose this seems to be a coveted item here on YouTube and it literally lives up to the height you know what I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see better so here's what the product looks like it's just like a milky pink color this is very expensive I want to say it's like in the 22 24 dollar range um, you can pick it up anywhere Christian Dior is sold I got mine from Sephora I love this as a nighttime lip balm it's extremely moisturizing and it's so weird it almost feels like a mask on your lips because in the morning you wake up and it's still there it's like the oddest thing ever but this is an amazing lip balm and then for like a treatment I, I mean I wouldn't really call it a treatment at all I do use lip scrubs and stuff like that I love my my elf moisturizing lip scrub I love the lip scrub from uh, Lush but for me a treatment is when you you need healing you know you need some recovery stuff like that and for that I always go to my good old Carmex this is very old school and you guys know I don't necessarily enjoy putting my finger in a pot but when my lips are feeling out of control dry and flaky and my skin's peeling off and my lips are just uber dry in general this is the product that I turn to every single time I will lather this on my lips and it just miraculously makes them feel all better especially in the summertime when my lips tend to get a lot more dry because of the sun and weather and all that kind of stuff I really enjoy this as a, an all-over treatment next question is best eye-catching red I have several different reds in my collection but by far the prettiest hands down like pinup girl Marilyn Monroe classic red is this one from CoverGirl and I hope that they still sell this I know they still sell this line of lipsticks and I'm hoping this one was permanent it is number 305 hot passion this is a gorgeous red I think I got it about a year and a half ago it is classic pinup girl red I love to wear this around the holidays it is so opaque and cherry it's just so pretty and even though it's not a staining lipstick it has staining properties for sure this is a lipstick that you can put on and you can eat with and it does not disappear even my family was impressed when I was wearing this around the holidays they're, they're like you still have lipstick on I don't understand it's a gorgeous color and I will forever have a red like this in my collection okay next is best luxury and best drugstore lip product so for luxury I don't really own too many luxury the majority of my collection is drugstore but the out of the high-end things that I have, my most favorite have to be from By Beauty. I have three different products here. This is the High Pigmented Pencil in the color Quince. These are just amazing in general. So buttery, so creamy, and super pigmented. There's that color there. You can see like that's just insanely pigmented. And then I don't have full-size lipsticks, but I do have the duos. Uh, this duo is in Musk and Lychee or Lychee and this one is in the color Palomino and Violet and these are perfect size for me because let's face it I'm never going to go through an actual lip product with everything that I own so there's swatches of the first duo and the second duo like I said really pretty pigmentation awesome color payoff they have a really nice feeling on the lips they're not sticky they're not drying they're very moisturizing and I love the fact that they can be consumed without being harmed. Best drugstore, I have two of them and one of them is a brand in general and the other are specific products. Maybelline lipsticks never fail me. I have tons and tons of different brands. This one happens to be from the Vivids line. I also have just the regular lipsticks. I don't even know what brand this is. Color Sensational maybe? I also have the Color Whispers and the Superstay. 
14 hour lipsticks so I have a bunch of different lipsticks from this brand and like I said I honestly have not been disappointed at all in any of them but by far out of the entire collection that I have the vivids are the most pigmented crazy lipsticks that you could ever like think of I own three of them and shocking coral vivid rose and hot plum there's the three swatches of them there and I just noticed hot plum is pretty much the exact same color as violet from by beauty the other products from drugstore that I wanted to mention are the Revlon uh, lip balms this one has happens to be the colorburst matte balm I have the lacquer balms the um, just bitten kissable balm stains these are just my all-time favorite again they have super intense pigmentation they have long lasting stain power is what I was trying to say they're just overall awesome products so there's swatches of those there moving right along number four is best MAC lipstick I actually don't own too many MAC lipsticks anymore my most used though has to be syrup this is a luster I got this not that long ago um, I want to say within the last six to eight months so it's really not an old lipstick at all it is a very neutral toned like mauve pink this color is often described it is right there it's often described as a your lips but better type color this is one of those lipsticks that I can wear with absolutely anything and it never fails me I never feel like it's clashing Mac lipsticks are not known for their stain power and I think that's just to rule you in so you have to buy more but that doesn't deter me from wearing it it's one of those colors that you don't need a mirror to apply so I will throw this in my purse and reapply it throughout the day no problem number five is the most most disappointing lip product I actually have two one high-end one drugstore this was something that I had super high hopes for and I just do not like it I feel like it's a glorified Vaseline I've mentioned this to you guys before it is the bite beauty agave lip mask and that's funny because their lipsticks are my most favorite high-end lipstick I just did not feel that this was worth the money I want to say it was like in the $20 region somewhere around there maybe 24 and as I said, it's a glorified Vaseline, seriously, and I don't even feel like it did anything for me. Honestly, Vaseline probably would have worked better. And it's so disappointing because so many people raved about this. Like, everyone loved it, and I just, I don't understand because to me it's horrible. It's uber sticky. It feels like... When, when you put it on your lips it has a weird texture I just was not a fan of this at all I much prefer if you're gonna splurge on a lip product I would much prefer the creme de rose over this I just was not happy and I don't know if it's just me like did you guys like this lip product because everyone seems to be raving about it and I don't like it at all and then the drugstore one that I don't know that it was a complete fail or let down but I just was a little disappointed in it it's the L'Oreal I don't even know what these are called the one that looks like this um, this one is in the color pink rebellion I had another one that was a little bit more like on the neutral side that I sold in the blog sale I just was not a fan of these the concept of them is really neat the doe foot applicator is nice it um, has like an, a weird texture it has absolutely no pigmentation I feel like like you would think this color would show up really rich and would be nice and you have even with two layers it's right there it's very sheer and as I said the consistency of it is weird it feels like a whole nother piece of skin on your lips it's a very strange feeling so for that reason I, I really was just disappointed in these I expected it to be more like what the packaging looks like and it was a complete letdown next question is lip liner yes or no yes I do I have a number of lip liners actually and I keep them in my brush holder here this is all the lip liners I own I also have mascaras in here so it's really not that many but I do wear lip liner and I also like wearing the border pencils like here's one from Milani I have one from elf I enjoy wearing those over these pigmented lipsticks or around the lip line of my pigmented lipsticks because lipsticks tend to bleed a lot on me so any of these colors you would definitely see me wearing a lip liner a coordinating lip liner plus a borderline pencil around my mouth number seven is best gloss that has again two options but I'm just going to show you high-end and drugstore but by far it's the NYX butter glosses by far I own five of them I am in love with these glosses they're definitely glosses you can just throw on you don't have to worry 
worry about where it's gonna go they're so smooth and buttery it's just unreal and the best part is they're like five or six dollars and they're sold everywhere now so the colors that I have are apple strudel which is like a creamy beige pink um, I have cherry pie which is a red eclair which is like a mauve pink uh, creme brulee is a neutral and strawberry strawberry parfait is a bright pink now the comparison to these I've mentioned this before I would say would be the MAC cream sheen glasses these however are like triple the cost maybe even a little bit more than the butter glasses and although I do really enjoy the cream sheen glasses from MAC I once I dwindle these down I don't plan on repurchasing them because I would much rather have a larger color selection with the butter glasses and pay a fraction of the cost but if you are looking for high-end the cream sheen glasses from Mac are super comparable and then the last question is number eight and it says something extra so the, I'm only going to show you one thing because I have so many lip products I could go on and on and on about extras so I recently mentioned one of these lipsticks in my favorites video and I just I'm hooked I own four of them and they are from the wet n wild matte line I just feel like these are definitely worth a mention because they're only $1.99 and if you even if you can find coupons you know sometimes wet n wild has a 50 cent or a dollar coupon in the paper I'm a huge fan of matte lipstick just in general and so I may be a little bit biased when it comes to these but they literally only take one swipe and they're super pigmented they last all day so there is some Twex swatches right there of the four colors this one is cherry picking nice if I could keep a hold of them this one is smoking hot pink this one is cherry bomb cherry bomb and the last one is 907C. So again, as you can see, super matte, super pigmented, $1.99. If you don't own any of these lipsticks, you need some in your life. So now that I'm all swatched up, I hope that you guys enjoyed that video. It was really fun for me to do. I love lip products. I have always loved lip products. Some of the other stuff in my collection like foundation and powders and eyeshadow I have just recently started to get into since I started YouTube four years ago. But lip products has always been my downfall lip gloss and lipstick and just all that kind of stuff I've always always been obsessed with I don't have anybody specific to tag to do this video because a number of my friends here on YouTube have already done it but if you're watching this and you film videos feel free to film it I think this is so much fun because if you're a fellow lip junkie like I am then it's neat to see what some other people's favorites are so anywho I hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below what you thought and I will see you in my next one Bye.